wait, a big pharma production company and their family is just, you know, getting away with fucking killing thousands plus people, not getting charged seriously and getting reprimanded for it at all, just getting a slap on the wrist? No, that, that doesn't happen. It's never happened. Hey, my dudes, how's it hanging? It's your boy, ZNF1 here. So, apparently, the Sackler family or the Purdue Pharma family has been granted legal excuses to not be responsible for their products whenever they tend to cause harm. For example, opiates that they have because they're a huge part of the opioid epidemic. Basically, any deaths or like harm that might come to a person, even though that they're highly addictive substances and they know it, if a person dies or has harm come because of that, like, they're not legally responsible at all. But before we go and get into that, let's, you know, cue intro. The Sackler family is being granted legal immunity to issues slash responsibilities for the deaths or injuries from opioid uses of their, you know, Purdue Pharma drug, Oxycontin. Now, they're kind of like separating the two, so to speak, with a lot of the cases I've heard about and read on in sort of more of the mainstream media, where it's just kind of like, oh, Purdue Pharma is bad. But the Sackler family, they're just the run of the mill chap. Like, oh man, Purdue's doing that and they're bad. We're, we're going to, you know, set them straight. No, it's, it's like with these legal immunities that they're getting, despite having caused several <laughs> fucking hundreds of thousands if not millions of fucking deaths for the past two decades it's just like a fucking slap on the wrist that's, that's all they're getting wait a big pharma production company and their family is just you know getting away with fucking killing thousands plus people not getting charged seriously and getting reprimanded for it at all just getting a slap on the wrist no that, that doesn't happen it's never happened purdue has generated more than 30 billion dollars since bringing oxycontin to the market in 1996. In years after prescription opioid deaths more than quadrupled from 1999 to 2019. now Honestly, if you paid any bit of attention to the opioid epidemic that's plagued the United States for the past 20 years, in all honesty, it's really not that hard to understand that the amount of deaths quadrupled, especially since, you know, they fucking try to push it into the hands of people who are extremely vulnerable, aka addicts that were having problems or like retired veterans like Vietnam vets. That's from Afghanistan, that severe trauma and like pain from getting your limbs blown off, etc. etc. Things like that. It's just like, oh, something minor, you know. Oh, here, here, try oxycotton. It's it's not at all highly addictive. In fact, it's astronomically addictive. It'll make you feel fantastic. Wait, wait, what? What what what? No, no, no. Try try this. Just just try the oxycotton. I promise you, it's great. The fact of the matter is that. This shit's happened because this company, Purdue Pharma, and the family that's run it, the freaking main owner and his two brothers, or his brother and his cousin or something like that, they've literally sat here and aggressively marketed this stuff to physicians and also paid off people to do it too. They give them lavish vacations and everything else, and they... They'd even sit there and fucking tell them, hey, push to the highest dosage possible. Don't even, like, do it based on the individual. Just give them that good old Oxycontin. But they blatantly ignored the side effects of the drug, and <laughs> fully knowing what it'd do to people, and just aggressively marketed the shit out of it. 
and didn't give any sort of care in the world to what happened to all those people that they were trying to get in the hands of. Now, how exactly they're doing this is by using bankruptcy laws through Congress to protect the manufacturer, Purdue Pharma, from like any sort of legal troubles, basically. They're just claiming bankruptcy so they can get away with stuff. Meanwhile, the Sackler family still gets to keep all their fucking money and keeps, you know, going on living in fucking fancy land, living their extravagant fucking lifestyles, doing God knows fucking what. And they don't really get any <laughs> sort of consequences for it. They're not being held responsible. They just get to get away with whatever the fuck they want. Man, it's almost like when you have a shit ton of money in modern society that you can get away with anything. It's not right, is it? We kind of have to, like, understand that this isn't the first time this shit's happened <laughs> in the upper class part of society. Especially not the first time in big pharma industry. <laughs> it's happened plenty of times. I have a video I actually did on the Oxycontin epidemic or like the opioid epidemic right up here. These people were aggressively marketing a drug that's 1.5 times more addictive than morphine. Now, if you've had morphine before and you've been around some people that have gone hooked on it, it's, it's fucking, it's bad news. Shit's fucking strong as hell. Oxycontin's even stronger than that. It's no wonder why it's so addictive. It's... It's ridiculous. Now, meanwhile, while the Sackler family gets to be like, oh, Purdue Pharma bad, it's not our fault. They can sit there and continue living their life extremely lavishly without any consequences or barely any. While there's people on the side of the fucking road sitting there fucking trying to get their new fucking Oxycontin fix and just popping the fucking pills and everything else. And it's not even just people on the side of the street. There's huge successful businessmen and women and like everyday people that do this shit too and plummet themselves into a severe state of one, mental crisis, and two, addiction that's so crippling that they lose everything that they love. We have to fucking be like understanding and we have to recognize that this shit's actually happening and we have to do something to like stop it, you guys. Because if the system's not going to do it, we need to make sure that they know it or to take it in our hands ourselves to actually do something to get their attention and to make this change happen. Because if we don't, our society is going to continue to keep having these problems and fucking up so many lives and like families. We can't have it happen, you guys. We're much better than this. <laughs> and it's not even just here in America. It happens around the world, too all these fucking like crimes against humanity in this manner they should not be happening it's because we're continuing to let all this crime and greed flourish by being complacent with shit what do y'all think let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this topic and kind of like what else you might want to see discussed on this channel always open to having new ideas you know and to shed light on topics that might not be discussed very much because that will help to one grow this channel and two also helps me to learn more about things that i didn't know about and to just help expose the system even more than we already are Alrighty, so that is gonna be it for us today my dudes if you guys did enjoy it please don't forget to you know like share comment and subscribe then hit that bell icon so that way you get notified the next time that I go live with one of these new videos. As usual, my dudes, please don't forget to live long and prosper, take care and peace, and keep it 1 million fucking percent real. I'll see you guys on the flip side.